Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, I'm in a snowstorm right now, guys. Uh, I've only been caught in the snow one time since I've been up here last year, and that was when it first started coming down. But I have uh, managed to get myself about 45 minutes away from the house, and it started snowing on me. So I am going about 25 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, taking it nice and easy. I'll show y'all here in a minute. You can't even see the road right now. It's uh, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Uh, excuse the windshield wipers every once in a while. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a necessity right now. Check this out, guys. Oh yeah. It is definitely snowing. I have been running into major issues today. The reason why I got stuck into this was because I've been trying to get my truck to crank or my Jeep to crank for about the last two and a half hours. Battery ended up dying and uh, I ended up having to go buy a charger, an extension cord, all kinds of stuff to get my uh, Jeep to crank this morning. It's got that lightning bolt thing, that throttle uh, sensor thing. For some reason, this Jeep does not like, uh, look at that big old tractor. That right there is scary, pulling that big old trailer in this stuff. Especially the fresh snow where nobody's really drove on it a whole lot because it's a whole lot slicker. But for some reason, this Jeep does not like the winter. It does not want to crank in the winter at all. The last two days, it has took me some time to get it crunk. And today, it actually killed the battery uh, trying to crank and never did crank. And I ended up having to go get a charger that has a quick charge on it because my little battery pack thing wouldn't work. Uh, even the one that uh, the, my subscriber sent to me that normally does pretty good, it didn't want nothing to do with this. So I kept on trying and trying and trying and I finally got it to crank and I was like, let me get this Jeep back to the mountain. It's been a long, long day so far to say the least. But I'm going to get it back. I think I'm going to be calling the Chevy dealership tomorrow. Because once again, I haven't heard from nothing about my transmission. And it's been, I dropped it off. I dropped my truck off on the 20th of December. I think the 20, 21st, somewhere around there. And I don't even have an estimation of when, when my truck's going to be fixed or when they're getting the transmission and everything else. Um, so I'm going to tell my I need at least my truck until the transmission gets in because it was still running. Um, it just had that vibration. And I feel a lot safer and more secure with my truck than this Jeep at this point. Because the Jeep just, once it gets cold, it don't want to crank. And uh, I can't run the risk of being stranded out here in the mountains in the snow and ice. So it is what it is. As you can see, I'm keeping plenty of distance in between me and the cars everybody's going real slow right now i did make sure to get uh some more antifreeze in the jeep yesterday and i also got some of that uh orange rain x uh windshield wiper uh fluid <laughs> for for it so i could uh spray and kind of keep my windshield nice and clear and it's working pretty good the Jeep's handling it all right at these low speeds when I was in town just now and I had to stop and start. It didn't really want to get started. Look at that dude just rolling out. I know for the people that's up north, this is right here isn't too much. But it's been my experience that even a little bit of snow like this is actually worse because it, the roads get icy. It's almost better to have more snow. And also this fresh snow right here with a... Uh, not being driven on and stuff yet. Definitely don't make it any better. And I don't have a lot of experience driving in it, so I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Uh, today is Anthony with Country Grow Cures birthday, so everybody go over to their channel and tell Anthony that come on sent you and to tell you happy birthday. I don't know what the Camaro's doing right now. Mike Smith. Mobile, press U-Connect phone button to answer. 
Mike's trying to call and check on me right now. Phone call completed. I think they're going to try to back in. They are. We're trying to back into their house so they don't get stuck. I get it now. Now this one's leaving. But at least I don't have nobody in front of me now. I can just kind of go my own speed. Well, there you go guys this is the first time that we've been driving in the snow together i got domino with me rolling out uh it looks like we're not going to get as much snow as what it was calling for it was calling for five to six inches and when i looked this morning it said one inch and we're supposed to get the snow tomorrow and it came today so maybe it'll only be one or two inches and it won't be so bad but I need to get home because I need to make sure that the snow doesn't build up on all those temporary canopies and uh, cave those in and stuff. Because that would be a disaster for me. But it is beautiful out here. But I figured I would turn the camera on and talk to you guys and uh, let y'all see the snow. And see the driving conditions. And that way I'm not just sitting here stressing and, and why I'm uh, driving and stuff. I can actually talk and kind of keep my mind off of it and just go nice and slow and safe. Domino is not all about this uh, snow though. Don't want nothing to do with it. Nice and slow. Going down these hills is where it gets a little sketchy. driving on ice it's like driving on a hockey ring you got the little reflector sticking up in the road right there so you can at least see that you're on the right side of the road I actually got a Jeep Jeep behind me it, he's a little bit more suited than the old Patriot here for this kind of driving the good thing about this Jeep Patriot though it does have a, a manual setting where I could shift through the gears and I'd not just be in drive so if I needed to I could put it in first second gear and just really control my speed with that instead of having to hit the brakes you can tell ain't too many people been on the road since it started snowing I bet the kids are happy though. The kids love seeing the snow. I don't mind the snow when I don't have to drive in it. It's a winter wonderland. Jeep's doing pretty good though. It's handling pretty good at the low speeds. I definitely ain't going to risk it and go any faster. It's going to take me forever to get home, but like I said, I was about 45 minutes away uh, if you're driving normal. So I'm sure it's going to take me about an hour and a half to get home. But I'd rather go nice and slow and steady and make sure that I get home than to try to push it and end up in a ditch somewhere. I don't want to have to have anybody else have to come out and risk their self to rescue me. We're about to come up on one more section that's a little bit sketchy. Got some sharp curves and a pretty steep hill. I wish this uh, Jeep was uh, all terrain. All wheel drive, I mean. Like the tell you ride that I had, but it's not. It is front wheel drive, though. And they say that front wheel drives are better in the snow and ice than real wheel drives. Slow 
and steady wins the race, right guys? Pretty much when I shut this Jeep off, it's supposed to be even colder tomorrow. It'll probably be the last time that I can get it to crank for a while. I got to figure out what's the deal with that, though. That's not that's not normal. I don't know what's causing it to have the throttle issues. I even tried to get some ether and spray in the air air cleaner thing, the air filter try to give it a little jump fire today and that didn't even work so that's the problem with these cars even though this one ain't that new it's like a 2012 or something like that but all the electronics back in the day when they're all just manual you know working a little bit of ether you get it to fire right back up I wonder how much snow we're gonna end up getting stretch here let me flip it back y'all can see behind me well you can't really see uh, it looks a little clearer on uh, the camera than what it really is the jeep's keeping a pretty safe distance back there from me looks like they're going about the same speed i am i'm going in between 20 and 30 depending when i start going down the hill i get closer to 30 but I don't want to hit the brakes. I just want to kind of let off the gas and kind of let it slow down naturally. I'm glad I got all the animals all winterproofed and stuff before this one hit because I think this is going to be the most significant snow that we've had this year for sure. And that orange Raindex, uh, Rain-X washer fluid and stuff, it works pretty good. I was impressed. Didn't even uh, ice up too bad this morning. Oh yeah. It's crazy how much snow falls how fast. Like I was sitting out there working on my Jeep and then all of a sudden the snow came and it just started falling. And it didn't take a because it's cold as it is. It stuck instantly. Next thing you know, I'm beating snow off my head and stuff. So I do love the look of the fresh snow falling down, though, before it gets all messed with, starts melting and turning into mud and all that other stuff. Another little downhill. Yep, but that's my Sunday, driving in the snow. I wouldn't really call this a snowstorm, but I'm definitely driving in the snow. It's a snowstorm for this Florida boy. Come on. <laughs> and uh, this Jeep did come from Florida. And uh, I believe that it is truly a Florida Jeep. It does not like this cold weather. Which means it's not going to be very dependable for me. I didn't have no issues with my truck last year. It uh, fired up on time every time. About the only thing that I've had with the truck was the doors froze shut a couple of times. It's good to see everybody out here driving nice and slow and safe for the most part, though. A lot of times it's the ones that, I, well, I say that, and here comes a truck rolling out at about 60. Yep, yeah, and then you're going to slide off into the, slide off into the ditch and then act like a victim. But I think that's going to be about it, guys. Uh, that's pretty much what I got going on. I just wanted to show you all the snow and what I'm driving in. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled on the road as much as possible. I'm trying to be as safe as possible. Uh, it's going to be a cold one. I'm going to go home today. I'm going to work on the review video some more. We're making some progress with it, but, man, it's going to take a... My goal is to get it out. Not this Monday coming up, but the following Monday. I'm thinking about doing my premiere, my two-year review video, 
right before my live next week. And then we can talk about it uh, on the live. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Uh, that's my goal right now is to get it done before next Monday. Not this Monday coming up, but the following Monday. Because it's going to take about 80 hours to edit. So, And I still have to make other videos and do other projects and stuff in between then. So I'm just kind of having to kind of work on it as I can. But uh, let me know if you think that would be a good idea if you're interested in doing that. It's probably going to be a long premiere. Two years is a lot of content, guys. It's, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being about a two-hour premiere. It's going to be like a motion picture. Um, hopefully it turns out good. I've never done one before, so it's my first first time. I don't, I don't even know how it's going to turn out. I'm just kind of chipping my way through it. I'm going to keep whittling it down and uh, try to make a really good review video for you guys. But I hope everybody has a good day today. Uh, got the playoffs today in football if you're into that kind of thing. Stay out of the weather and just watch some football today and relax. And uh, take a small step close to your goal, guys. But always, I mean always, keep it real. Come on.